Y'all gonna probably think I'm super crazy, but I'm back to my abandoned house. And I parked the truck this way in case I need to make a quick getaway, because I am here all by myself. I have no one to come here with me today to clean the abandoned house. I'm trying to clean it because tomorrow we actually have a security guard coming to spend time here while we film a challenge video on my other channel. So we're trying to make it secure and clean to make videos for the challenge channel and also pay for us as well. So that's what I'm here for today. I'm here to clean. No one wanted to come with me. Everyone was being lazy. So I'm here to do this job by myself. So I have been monitoring my security cams all day and I haven't seen any activity anyone coming and going yeah hopefully it stays that way too but what the hell is this dear mo may have made many attempts what the fuck is this hold on a sec guys it's super loud out there definitely gonna be locking this behind me found a piece of paper what the hell is this there's a piece of paper very very poor writing let's go upstairs where there's a bit more sunlight <sighs> dear mo Whoever wrote this is an absolute idiot, guys. They literally can't even spell. Dear Mo, we have made many attempts to scare off your property. Me decided, literally, it's, I'm, reading, I'm reading this how it's wrote. I'm gonna put a picture of it in here. Me decided collective, or collectively, they probably meant collectively, that, they spelled that. Oh, what the f is this? Why is there a balloon in here? What the, what the? is that hello and there's this the f is that thing hello who's in my house every freaking time I'm here something new is happening I do have a knife on me just to let you guys know a big dagger um, I don't think there's anyone here though guys mo other mo anyone here there's another one right in this room too. What the? F I'm telling you guys, every time I'm here, something new happens and it's fucking frustrating. I came here to clean my abandoned house because we're filming a challenge video tomorrow. There will, like I said, there will be an actual security guard that we've hired for the day coming tomorrow to protect us as we're doing our our challenge video. Can't afford him for two days in a row, so I can only get him for for tomorrow, not for today. I'm gonna be documenting me cleaning this place for the vlog channel, so make sure you guys watch that video there. If you guys wanna see me clean this place, I don't know why you would wanna see that. I might wear a bikini, so maybe you wanna see that, I don't know. Anyways, let's continue reading this really poorly made printed out letter. There's a clown on it too. Hold on, let's see, let's see what this says. Dear Mo, dear Mo, me, me have made many attempts Instead of saying we, they said me. Maybe it's a typo, I don't know. Many attempts to scare you off our property. Me decided collectively that me wants to reach, they, these guys cannot spell sh for shit. Me wants to reach agreement where you and Steve and the others, instead of spelling others, they spell others. I can't even read this guys. This is so shit. Oh, we have been living here longer than you have been. I guess owning the place. These guys have been here for a while. Steve, 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 Steve in caps and like wrote Steve many times. I am Steve, I will kill. Man, this guy's on crack. I'm pretty sure Steve's a crackhead. Like, like no way out of it. There's a, like a whole bunch of these homeless guys on this property. But Steve is the one that's like mostly like not all there. If you show up with a camera, spelled with a K, if you show up with a camera, we will hurt you. But they spelled it completely wrong. That's why I'm having such a hard time reading this shit. If you do not film, become peace with us, me will. That's what it literally says. Become peace with us, we will. But if I don't film them anymore, they want to make a peace with me. Oh, okay, so here's what it says. If you do not wish to become peaceful with us, we will kill you and all your friends we have killed before and we will Spill blood again. This is not a warning. This is not a warning, this is a promise. And they left a really shitty, poorly made clown. Kind of similar to the one that they have. It's gonna be very hard for you guys to read this because it's so shit. Like it's crumpled up, it's wet from the rain. It's pretty fucking terrible. So these guys have left me a death threat. Great, they've left some, some clown pics. Are they even here? Like are they watching me right now? But like I said, I checked all my security cameras before coming here. Haven't seen anyone show up on the property today, so I don't know when they were able to sneak this by, maybe at nighttime or something. But why is there a f***ing balloon? That's what I wanna know. Screw you, Steve. I don't know about you guys, would you want peace with a guy that killed a freaking puppy, sacrificed it right here in this pentagram, and then unburied it after I had buried it, and done God knows what else he's done with it? This guy said he spilled blood before. What does that mean? Has he killed a human being before? Is there a dead body on my property? If you haven't been keeping up with the episodes, these clowns have made my life a living hell ever since I bought this abandoned house with 150 acres of forest land. And every time we explore land, we find different campsites, abandoned campsites. And I'm just like, my eyes are all over these 
these windows, just making sure nobody shows up. Like I said earlier, I have parked the vehicle this way this time, so this way I can make a clean getaway. That was recommended by you guys, so thank you. I'm gonna throw the drone up in the air and see if I can spot anything on the drone. Maybe there's a sign of them out here today. Maybe they're gone. Maybe I can find like a campfire. The last time I was here, the guy had the flamethrower that he's attacked me with. He had the actual flamethrower and he was literally making a campfire with it. And I snuck up on him. I filled him inside his tent, but then Moses, accidentally radioed me on the walkie talkie, which the guy freaking heard and he chased after me because of that. And we got the fuck out of here. And that's been a few days since that happened. Usually whenever we get attacked by these clowns, what we do is we just like don't show up for a couple days, let the situation cool off. And we have tried calling the cops in the past. Anytime we've ever called the cops for them to come here, nothing comes out of it. These guys don't find no one. And the cops ain't gonna go search the forest for nothing, for just a bunch of homeless guys. They're not gonna do that. They will never do that. So as I was getting my backpack, from my vehicle, I heard some loud noises in the in the forest. And it didn't sound like it was close by, but it also didn't sound like it was too far and it was really loud. It was, it was almost like, kind of like an explosion, kind of like a distant balloon pop or maybe a gunshot. It could be a gunshot. So I'm really hoping these guys didn't upgrade their weapons from flea. Hello? My heart is beating fast. I was saying, I really hope these guys aren't upgrading their weapons from flamethrowers to freaking guns. So here's the deal. These guys want to make peace and I think I should try to hear them out. I think I'm going to go and try to find them if they are even here. Like I said, I checked the security cameras. I haven't seen them, heard nothing from them. If they are here today, uh, I'm going to try to use a drone to see where they are, first of all, just to make sure it's not an ambush. Second of all, I'm really considering maybe like making peace with these guys. Maybe like giving them a little piece of the forest. I mean, if they are really homeless, in return, they'll leave me the alone and let me do whatever the hell I want out here because like I really want to be able to use my property for like ATVing off-roading all that stuff and I haven't been able to do that yet forest of mysteries what do you have for me today so usually I see them in this area here that you guys are seeing kind of like encircled this forest is massive this is like the dead part over here that where we found the first campsite kind of wondering how far I can go with this drone what is that I see something over here. There's like this opening, kind of a clearing. I've never been here before because I don't even know where the hell that is. There's something flying around over there. What is that? Whoa! No! There's a balloon, a red balloon. That's kind of like the same balloon that was in my house. I'm like right above the balloon right now. Guys, this is really weird. There's a red balloon just hovering in my forest. And keep in mind, when Mo and I, this makes perfect sense. When both Mo's and I investigated the forest and we found that other massive campsite, we found these like random blue balloons everywhere. I mean, you could say this is a balloon that's like flown away from some kid somewhere, but because I found a red balloon, look, 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 it's on a rope, it's on a string. Because I found a red balloon in my actual house, this is very suspicious. This almost tells me that these guys actually planted that balloon here. Am I supposed to like go to this balloon? Is this like supposed to be the meeting spot? I mean, it would kind of make sense that this could be like the meeting spot. Look at this. There's literally a freaking red balloon just hovering in my forest. I got a really weak signal on my drone. Yeah, these Mavics with these controllers, don't ever get these controllers. I've lost complete control of my drone. No clue where it is now. If you're gonna get a Mavic drone, don't get this controller. It's terrible on range. Get the controller that you can actually hook up your cell phone to. I thought I just seen someone down in the bushes. I'm gonna mark this spot on my GPS. I'll, I'll, I'll trek to it. Maybe this is the meeting spot where they wanted to meet. But I'm just trying to see. Keep your eyes open. Maybe there's something like yellow. Maybe they're, they're wearing their yellow jackets or whatever. Maybe there's something we can... I thought I heard somebody screaming. Whoa, check this out. Now this is new to me. This whole clearing over here, this is completely new to me. And it looks like there's like, like, it's like an actual path here. I've never been here before. All right, you guys, I just went back to the truck, dropped off the drone and brought my machete just for safekeeping. I do have a dagger, but if I encounter something big, bigger than clown boys, maybe like a moose or something, I wanna be able to protect myself. So I have to go get the machete. All right, here it is, the point of no return, the crossing between the river and the other part of the forest. Am I nervous? Hell yeah. Not because I'm by myself, but because I've seen firsthand how scary these guys can be. I'm gonna keep my eyes wide open, man. From this point forward, I'm gonna stay calm. saying from this point forward I'm gonna stay clear from the tent that I discovered the other day and go all the way around from what I seen on the GPS where that balloon is I could be I don't know what it, what, what it is I want to go check it out maybe it's like where they want to meet up but 
I don't know if I should trust them. Oh shit. in the distance i'm not sure you guys picked up on that this is the area where i ran from that one guy dressed as the it clown and it ran up a tree and this is unexplored territory here in my forest and i'm trying to figure out where it was because i remember at one point when both moes chased the it clown dude he ran down that way and also an area we've never been to but why did he run down there it's almost like he knew where he was going so i'm about to go and investigate if memory serves me correct the balloon is down there somewhere in that opening. So he was running off to that to that area. But you guys remember that tree right there is the one that I climbed up. And the bullies were over there and they snuck up on him. And then he, he took off running down there. And now that I'm looking at this properly, this looks like it was once a type of path of some sort. Something we've never seen. Very risky of me to come here by myself, but I need to do this. This is what we do, guys. Yeah, this is all new new to me. Definitely looks like someone has cleared this whole area in the past. Like, I can walk in here freely. No bushes, nothing in the way. I wonder where it leads to, though. You know, I've been having some theories as to why these guys are here and what it is they're trying to protect out here. I feel like these guys could be into drugs. They could have drug stash houses somewhere out here, or sheds, I should say. Um, hidden in the forest. I've definitely haven't seen any houses on the actual drone But these guys could be into something dirty and they're just trying to hide it really really good. You know, I really am getting used to this whole Making videos by myself Deal. Let me know if you guys want more of just me alone um, Does it excite you guys? <laughs> it definitely scares the shit out of me But I kind of like it like I like seeing it on camera when I edit these videos interesting area looks like it's been disturbed over here Oh shit off camera, I just heard dogs. Could be the dogs that belong to the homeless guys. So I made it to an opening and I thought this could have been the spot, but it doesn't look like it. I don't see a balloon, but I'm pretty sure there's another one down that way, so let's go. Wait a second. As I just turned off my camera, I made it to this spot over here and look at this. There's something here. There's a, a garden hose. all the way out here there's a food container okay so then that means I'm onto something over here how does a garden hose get in this deep look it just keeps going that way it's, it's broken here as you guys see there's other pieces of it there why oh why is there a garden hose that just keeps going and going and going It's still like deep. It just keeps going. There's more of it over here. Where the hell does it go? What the hell? Mysterious garden hose. Look at this, guys. Let's just pull it. Oh, it ends over here. What? It's not like I'm near any houses for for this garden hose to be here. This technically shouldn't even exist here. So what the fuck is it doing here? Pretty much lost now. <laughs> I'm gonna go back from where I came from. Man, y'all better smash the hell out of that like button because I'm literally risking my life. Whether it's crazy psychopathic madmen out here or dangerous animals there's a real danger here please smash the hell of that like button i find it kind of strange that i've seen that one dude wearing the yellow outfit 
a while back. It's been about a, an hour since I seen him. But what was he doing there? That's what I wanted to know. I don't want to get close enough to find out, but it's just interesting how these guys are just chilling here day and night. I see it. I see it. I see it. It's right there. There's a red balloon. What the hell? I gotta I gotta be very careful at this point on. Another golf ball. I've been finding these golf balls everywhere. Shut up, you stupid birds. Oh, there's thorns everywhere. I'm not sure you guys can see, but there's the balloon right there. Well, it's definitely something that wasn't flown here and got stuck here. This has been tied here. Oh, what the hell? Look at this. Whoa, we're bringing it down. I switched over back to my other camera. Look at this. This is really weird. Why is there just a, a red balloon tied up to this tree? Come down, balloon. Uh, 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 it won't come down. It's like under tight. Maybe if I just break this tree. There we go. That was loud. I didn't expect this tree to go down so quickly. Just a red balloon tied to a tree in the middle of a forest. It's not the same balloon that was in my house. Someone was cooking up something on this campfire. What was that? This makes perfect sense to me now. The balloon was on the opposite side of this, this clearing over here. They put it near the campsite. I don't see anyone here.
don't want to go back the other way because I'm f***ing terrified. Hello? Steve? Steve, I'm here to make peace, man. Steve, are you in there? I am so terrified right now. Steve, are you in here? Knock, knock. Come on out. Are you on the other side of the river? Steve, you want a piece? I came to your balloon. I'm sorry I popped it. I hope you're not mad at me for that. It smells funky in here. What the hell is that smell? Shit, what the fuck was that? Thought I heard something. Hey, Steve, come on out. You don't gotta be afraid of me. Whoa, oh, that's what that smell is. Yo, what the fuck? There's like food in here, rotting away. Just a and W bag. Some Chinese, I think it's that, it's that Chinese food. It smells like Chinese food. So, it seems like Steve's been here because this box was in the, the tent a while ago, a few days back. He's not showing up right now. I wonder if I can call him on the walkie-talkie. Power on. For those of you that are, for those of you that are just tuning in, the walkie-talkie. I left one in his tent, like I left one in his tent maybe like seven episodes ago, and that's how I've been able to communicate with him in an aggressive way, of course. Hey, Steve, do you hear me? Yo, Steve, where you at, man? Hey Steve, is that you that I heard in the bushes? Oh, what was that? Fuck. Just turn on my GoPro in case I need to run and I need both hands. I heard a lot of movement in the bushes. I gotta get the hell out of here. That literally felt like an ambush. Honest to God, that felt like an ambush. Oh my God, that dog sounds like it's close. Screw it, I'm making a run for my truck. There's two of them. What the fuck is that? They're in my house. Okay. They're in the house. They're just sitting up. I'm stuck. They're just sitting up in the window. One of them just disappeared. I think he's coming. I think he's coming. 